What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome back to AC Valhalla. Now, we didn't actually finish our Valhalla series. Truth be told, I kind of got what I wanted out of the game, uh, collecting the legendary armor and the legendary sword Excalibur and kind of running around. That's that's what I had fun with. Uh, but we are back. There is an expansion, Wrath of the Druids, that's dropping. And since I have a uh, week until some other new titles, I figured, what the hell, let's visit a DLC. I've heard there's some new weapons getting introduced, so this should be fun. Plus, being a DLC, I know it is not going to be the I hundreds of hours that I would expect with the, Hytham, with the base game. Can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The king of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the east, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident, most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay, I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. What manner of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland? I want to switch my buttons up so I have my block. It has been quite some time. There, Irish trade. And a piece of armor over here. I have not played in a while. Let me go here, perhaps? Actually, I'm going to pull up my, uh... Oh shit, of course I can't. Actually, no, hang on, I can do this real fast here. Um, no, I'll have to do it later. I'll have to reconnect my, uh, reconnect my controller to the computer to customize the buttons to get my, my dodge button back. Actually, there should be a way to do it on the Xbox, isn't there? Let me see. I never play the Xbox. I'm sure record. Settings, device, accessories. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Figure, um. Yeah, sure, we'll just edit the this one. Uh, right here, I want this to be X. So for those curious why we're on Xbox, um, honestly, I just, I feel like my Xbox doesn't get love. <laughs> I play, lately, I mean, the, the code I got for Resident Evil was on PlayStation. Uh, the code I got for Returnal, obviously Returnal was PlayStation. Um, and my Series X has just been kind of sitting here not doing anything, and I had Valhalla on it. So I'm like, fuck it, we're gonna play it on Series X. Plus, to be honest, it's, uh, now that the next gen of console is here, and, I mean, given it's not quite as beefy as PC, it's definitely uh, a big difference, you know, like, like, uh, Series X and PS5 are significantly ahead of where PS4 and Xbox One were in terms of performance. 
um, especially in like like stuff you know like load times and whatnot. So I'm a lot more comfortable just recording on console now, mainly because it's less stress on the PC. Um, I have a single PC setup. A lot of people, like I know, uh, a lot of you guys know Chris Odd, good buddy of mine. Uh, Chris uses a dual PC setup, so he can play PC games at 4K and record them at 4K. Because, uh, you know, he has one PC that's, that's, one PC is playing the game, another PC is doing all the work. And, um, you know, that's ideal, but to be frank with y'all, I'm just too lazy for that. Yeah. So, I have one PC that's extra beefy with, like, a 3080 in it, and that one PC I use to both play and record. So... But the obvious downside is when you're using one PC to play and record, it, uh... It's a little bit harder to play at higher resolutions. And I remember in, uh, the early parts of the series, we were playing at, uh... I mean, we, we had the game running at 1440, and even then, there were, like, every now and again, there'd be, like, a little frame dip that would hit. Um, but playing it like this, on the Xbox, you know, we're playing at 1440 and I don't need to worry about the frame dips because all my computer is doing is recording it, not trying to record and play. Excalibur! I don't remember how to parry. Perry. Oh, there we go. I just got to tap L1. North structures and south structures destroyed. Oh, is it this thing? Do I got to light it on fire, maybe? No, maybe? Oh, well, I don't know. It looks like the fire is gathering. Yeah, I probably do. Because why else have that there? Why else if I'm not supposed to... Is that on? Is that caught fire? I don't know if that's caught fire. It doesn't look like it's caught fire. said south structure is destroyed. I think it was referring to that. I think those are supposed to be explosive arrows. Yeah, they are. on fire. Let's light this one on fire. I'm, I'm gonna bet that it's like these three structures are what I need. Yeah, probably. Okay, so I need to just get farther. I might be able to do it, hit it from here. It's gonna be a tight angle. Um, is this the one where... Oh, no, that's like a slow time. I just gotta find a lantern to hit that final one. Look at this guy over here. Die, die, die. 
I should actually check my abilities. I haven't... It's been so long since I've played, I need to, like, re-remember what stuff is. Focus of Nornir... Okay, so that's slow time, powder trap, poison trap, call the wolf. Uh, that's the big one shot, that's the rope. Rush and bash, and then dive. Oh, that's right, I can do this to just light arrows. I forgot about that. Alright, so what else is there to destroy? Oh, just right here, this thing. There we go. that thing. Looks like they got a... What is that? They got Ballista. So I probably could have used this to just completely torch that one village. Uh, what bow am I using? Scaldi's Wrath, it's a bear bow. What? I thought I had eye frames during that. Did they change that? Wait, how do I heal? What's the heal button? There we go. Treasure. 
Dublin. Dublin we go. The Dublin we go. Azar, the river's clear. Save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly, then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar on my neck. Ah. My Viking name would then be Azar One-Eye. Thank you, Azar One-Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, and I found your letter. Here. Hello, Cousin Eivor. I hope this surprise is a pleasant one. Many years since we parted, word has reached me that we are now both on the same side of the North Sea. I'm certain you are busy because you use a reunion. Your cousin Barad. My cousin Barad is alive and king of Dublin. The North Near never failed to delight. Eivor, are you prepared to go to Ireland? Yeah, of course. Asar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what. But it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? Yeah. I would like to see this land. And my cousin Baudith. Ireland, a patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Azar, how is it that Barith, as Norse as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Hard to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who's he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly, he is loved by his people. This is a cool little hamlet.
Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Bareth. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on Thrusta's cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sigfrid. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Barith. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Bardith. <laughs> you can tell he's not, not all that happy about the shit she's saying. Oh, well, Matt just been look at the docks. We babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Asad told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading, is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I'd trust my commerce to, old man. You let him call you that? I call him worse things. My king! I still owe you a horn of ale. This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I'll be there shortly. His armor kind of looks like a shittier version of mine. Barrett, my mighty king. Ifa, this is my cousin, Eivor. Show him the bow I had you make for him. This is for me. The craftsmanship is beautiful. Me best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? Uh, obviously. I'm pro. I just want to get a feel for how the bow handles. That's sure. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! I got a cat attacking my ankles over here. <laughs> Damn good shot! Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, oh, nope, Bone almost. But it's a very thoughtful gift. <laughs> you had a long sea voyage, haven't got your land legs yet. Norse gale bow, light bow. Looks like it's a bear bow. Nope, never mind, Ravenbow. Brown just means common. Poison your arrows when hitting weak points. That's a cool perk, though. I like that. Well done, Gutten. Wait. Is that a house of God? Hi. Hey, boy. Let's continue. Hi. Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chew the wafer. You make a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. I built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beaten. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. 
Asa told me that it's a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. I'm gonna grab this real fast over here. <laughs> oh shit! I I know I know I know I'm coming. Can't pass up a fast travel. is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet. Seems like a pretty nice long haul. Up, Barret, for dear. Here we are. Please, go enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. Alright, well, since we're here and we're going to have to wander around and enjoy the celebrations, this seems like a pretty good spot to wrap up. Uh, but this should be fun. You know, the DLCs, DLCs typically are like 5 to 10 hours, so it should be perfect for like a week-long series. And then when this wraps up, we'll start Biomutant. So, either way, stay tuned. I'll have another episode for you all later today, and I'll see you all then.